Hi guys. So today I am going to try this technique that I feel like is ugh, hair on lip I think. Anyway, I'm going to try this technique that I've seen online a lot and it's basically powder first then foundation which I find like slightly disturbing like it freaks me out a little bit. I just feel like, I don't know, like powder, I don't know, I just feel like it just I don't know it's going to dry my skin out. Who knows, right? But we're going to try it. We're going to see if it works. Apparently it's a revelation. So I'm going to be honest. I don't really know what's going on with my little my hair today. It looks really creepy. I look like Kira Knightley in <laughs> Bend It Like Beckham. I'll do. Please also know on YouTube, for some reason, you need to change the quality of my video. Like I noticed it, were really, it was really blurry last time, but you can change the quality. So ensure you do that because it can be hella fuzzy. But yeah, stick to the end, let's see how we get on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one side in Iranian, one side in English, as usual. I have just cleansed my face and put on moisturiser. I've done my eyes and my lips, but nothing has been on my face, no primer, just moisturiser, nothing else. So apparently the first thing you do is you go in with a powder. I'm going in with a Huda Beauty powder today. Let's test this baby out. Oh, it's so weird. It's so damn weird. It's just freaking me out a little bit. It's freaking me out. I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. It's like, do I go heavy? I'm just gonna. Okay. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's weird. It's weird. I find it weird. I'm just like, is the powder even sticking? Or does it stick into anything? Do I mean, like, is there any point in this? I mean, do, they look, do the two sides look different? Like, how much should I apply? Yeah, I feel like I've been applying for a while then. And it's generally like, like, it's not doing anything. I just don't understand. I'll go get it. Is it doing something? I don't know. Is it filling in my pores? Oh my god, shut up. I need to stop talking. Okay, okay. Powder is on. Face is fully powdered. It feels a little bit weird. Like, it feels like there's powder on it, but it doesn't feel powdery. It doesn't, like, it doesn't look powdery. Like, it, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. Like, it feels cakey. Like, you know that way where it's like, but it just doesn't feel like I've got anything on. I don't even know what I'm saying. So next step is setting spray. Any setting spray you've got, which to be fair, I always drench my face with spins. Face with spins. Oh my God. Next step is setting spray. You need to drench your face with setting spray, which to be fair, I always drench my face with setting spray anyway, so that is no different to my routine. This is a Fenty one. And then you have to wait until it is completely dry. We're talking like dry, like I usually like it a little bit like damp before I put a highlight on, but this has to be dry as shit. Does that mean? So wait it out so you know when it feels dry. It's not dry yet. You still have to wait. You can still see like little, little like droplets on my mustache hair. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. It's on like, you know, like that kind of like poresy hair you get, but I probably would let on my mustache hair. I mean, it's a workout in itself doing this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it better be worth it. I'll be raging if this is shite. I mean, what is the purpose in waiting this long for it to dry anyway? Do you know what I mean? You may as well just do your normal routine. Like, this better be, like, like my skin better be, like, baby smooth. Baby smooth. But she won't be happy. She won't be happy. Oh, God, this is so dull. This is so dull. Okay, it's dry. I'm just going in. I mean, I can't be ours. Like it feels tacky, not tacky. Like it, it just feels like I've got setting spray on. Do you know what I mean you know that feeling? Anyway, I'm going in with the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer. So yeah, I'm going in with primer. This is primer now. So we powdered, we set and sprayed. Now we're going in with a primer. Like literally the craziest thing. And I had fear doing this with my horns, so I've gone with a brush. I'm just fear in case like, I'm saying like Play-Doh. Do you ever make like Christmas bobbles when you were younger and it was like flour and water? Oh, was it flour and water? Yeah, it freaks me out. I just, I just can't. I'm really feared to go in my hands. We try, we touch test. Like this side, so I primed this side before, it's like dried down. It still looks really shiny, but it's dried down. Now is the big step. We're going to my foundation, right? So I'm going in with the e.l.f. foundation, which is also equally as good, but it's not pricey. So we're not really, we're not wasting much. Do you know what I mean? Going in with my normal brush, the fake It Cosmetics brush. Let's do one pump, one pump. Maybe I should go with a sponge. Actually, I think I might. I think what I'll do is I'll place it on and then I'll sponge it in. You know, honestly, 
I'm not seeing much difference so far. Is this like a thing? Like, do people, like is it supposed to be like, oh, oh shit, that's different straight away? Let me get a sponge. Okay, we're here with a damp beauty blender. Guys, I feel like this is the biggest waste of time ever. Whoever said this was a revelation, they're lying to you. You know what is right? People. I almost feel like it's not as heavy. Like, look, you still see the redness in my cheeks, which I just like, right? I like going in with a little blush blush. I'm never seen blush blush again. <laughs> like, it's, it's made it look like skin. Like, it doesn't look... I don't honestly know what to think. Can you guys see a difference? I think, you know what it is? I think it just doesn't look cakey. Like it looks really, it looks just like skin. It's weird, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm quite like it. I quite like it right because I hate a thick foundation. Like I hate one that's too cakey. I hate one that looks really like full coverage. Cause especially for me, because I do have texture and I do have pores, a full coverage foundation almost like enhances your texture. Do you know what I mean? It's nice. You know what? I'm going to it. It is nice. I kind of know it's really annoying though. Like I hate that this patch keeps coming off, which wouldn't usually happen with this foundation. But I think because there's so much crap under there, it's weird. It's almost like, oh, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's almost like you're pressing the foundation off. Like it's giving you the right amount of coverage because there's just so much crap underneath. I feel like I'm giving you a really, really bad description of what it's like. When I do it again, I feel like it takes too long. Like I would just wear a lighter foundation. Do you know what I mean? I just wouldn't wear something as heavy. But I think I need to take a photo. Maybe I'll take a photo. Let me take a let me take a quick ugly selfie. Two six. Guys, it looks nice in a photo. Like it does look really nice. It just looks like a really natural like photo. It doesn't look like you're wearing anything on your face. It just looks really like skin, but just perfected. Do you know what I mean? Right, I get it. I get I get the hype of it, but I just can't be arsed, honestly. The one thing I dislike as well is that it doesn't cover everything. Like I hate like my redness on my cheeks is coming through. Like I feel like this, it's almost like a patch has just came off. I don't know. I'm just so uncertain. It's, mm, I just don't know. I just feel like it's such a waste of time. Like, you know what this would be nice for? I feel like this would be nice for mature skin. This would be real nice for mature skin. It's a, it is a revelation because I've never seen that foundation do something like this or any foundation do something like this for that matter. It just, honestly, it is, it is really nice. The more I look at it, it's really nice. I need to make my mind up. I need to make my mind up. This is it, right? I don't think I would do it again purely because it takes quite a while. However, I can see why people would do this because it does just look really healthy. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I don't know. I'm in two minds, I'm in two minds. I feel like you guys need to try this at home and let me know what you think. It's nice, but yeah, I just think, I think for me, it's just a bit too long. Like I wish it just didn't take as long. But it is beautiful, like it's really, it just looks so natural. Like the more I look at it, the more I'm like, bitch. Yeah, I hope that it's evident on camera, like the difference, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna do this side of my face and the rest of my face and then I'll come back. Alright guys, I feel like I'm converted. I feel like, like I don't actually think I'll do this again, but I like it. Does that make any sense? I don't think I'll do it again because it's time consuming. It just takes too much time. However, I feel like everything's blended very nicely. You know, like the blusher and the bronzer, the highlight, it's all very, no. It's just, it's very skin-like and that's what's the beauty of it. You guys need to test it for yourselves and let me know what you think because I've got nothing else to say on the matter. Thank you all for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.